what's up so today we're finally gonna change the heater core and the truck here that went out and started leaking i got uh, a new one here so yeah it should be pretty simple pretty easy the housing sits underneath the dash on the passenger side so I'm gonna flip this truck around back it in so I have more room I ain't got that much room over there so yeah let's get to it Show you guys. Yeah, there should be enough room to work. All right, so this entire black box here is the heater core assembly, and it was leaking antifreeze pretty bad out of here. But it should be very simple to get out. I know I don't have to take the dash out. I gotta take the uh, glove box door off but not the whole dash so first thing first got to drain the coolant so we'll get to that and go from there okay so under the truck about to drain the coolant of the radiator and, uh, right here is a little coolant drain plug so let's see if we get this it's hard to see but focus oh, there we go yeah it's turning there we go And that's why we got some plastic here to catch all that. Oh yeah, I'll let that all drain up. Alright, so now we got to get disconnect the hoses that goes to the heater court and the firewall, which is these two hoses here. And we'll just Twist those clamps off. If I get this off.
remove the glove box. This should be a screw there, screw there, and then it should drop down and it'll be a screw on the sides. Yeah. Now let's see if we can get this thing out. Don't do what I do. Take the screws out the bottom first, and then the top too. Uh, that over there, keep that safe. Put the screws in the glove box. that in the glove box so I guess some uh maybe school parking pass hmm but it said from 16 to 17 so let me fix this what the hell this truck I mean this truck been on the road I would assume most of its life I mean I bought it and drove it you know drove 40 minutes to go get this truck and over 40 minutes back home no problem never had an issue with it so whoever had this thing i mean the guy i bought it from said he only had it for like a year or two and i don't know the history before that but whoever been owning this took really good care and always kept it on the road it's really good this is a really nice truck all right so let's see what we got here all right so once you get the glove box off this, I'm trying to hold the light and the camera. This here is the whole entire Peter assembly core thing. So we gotta get this out, this whole black box. Uh, I know we gotta disconnect that, disconnect that up there. And a few more things and it should come down. So let's, uh, Let's see, I might have to take this off. But let's see. Let's start with the empty thing. So, go ahead and disconnect this cable here. I'm going to put the camera down, mount it up. Go get my pad gun and start taking up some of these braces. And... Alright, so I'm so close. 
All right, this was mounted. Oh, let's see. That broke. This was mounted up here, like so. I just took it off so I have more room. So I have more room to work. I got to disconnect this cable here. I guess that opens the door. There's some screws in the inside of the engine that needs to come off. And that is one of them there. And I think there's another one right there. I know. take the ashtray off I really don't want to but it's not coming it's getting Let me get some light here all right so it's getting caught up on this got it loose there and it goes here and I think it's bolted up underneath the ashtray and I can't get to the bolts without pulling the ashtray off I'm gonna take the ashtray off. Okay, let's take the ashtray out.
only thing left is to take this cable off of top of here and there's another one in there so let's see I'm not sure how this comes off I don't want to break it let me figure it out core is out well the housing is out the heater core is still inside there we gotta pop this cover off to get to it all right so got the whole housing out now we gotta take top cover off and then we can pull the heater core the bad one out so yeah let's do it This is my leaking heater core, and you can tell if all the coolant in the passenger floor wasn't enough. Yep, that's where it's leaking at, at the bottom here. That's pretty nasty. And then I got all these leaves in there. I'm gonna clean this out. Probably gonna. Wash it out, clean it up. So I'm gonna get all these leaves out, vacuum it out, and uh, hose it down with some water. Try to clean it out. Sun's all in my face, but <laughs> so here goes the new one. When uh, shit. All right, so here goes the new one. <laughs> We're gonna vacuum all of this out and uh, put this back in and be good to go. Let's get the vacuum.
So for anyone who's doing this as well, same truck. All right, so the heater housing is really only held on by five uh, little nuts that you get to from inside the engine. So when this is sitting in the engine, there's one there, one right there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. This one, no, it was this one. I had to claw underneath the car to get to, because I couldn't get to it. But once you take those off, it's basically ready to come out. The only thing that holds it in is like this stuff behind the dash, which will be, uh, you know, this support brace thing that was on mine. Now, I don't have, a, uh, this is a non-factory AC truck. So I didn't have any AC lines or anything to disconnect. So if you do, there might be a few extra steps. But uh, yeah, I don't have any AC in my truck. So I didn't have any of that. All right, so new heater core is back in the housing. Got the top back put on. Um, I'm gonna put it back in the car. So that should be fun. Yeah. Knock the camera down. Try to get this thing back in there. But it's where it needs to be. I have to install all these cables back in here. Which I'm probably going to do that first before I uh, go back out there and mount it all up. So this one, I don't know how good you guys can see. Okay, so it's hard to do it and get it filmed, but I try to explain. On mine, there's a tab here, and this is a cable. This what opens the, uh, I guess you want to call it blend door, accurate door, whatever, inside the box. So when you, there's a, it's just, you stick a, a flathead or anything, a screwdriver to push it and depress it, and then it pops out, and then, then this just... And then this here just pops right off. It was easier for me to completely get the uh, housing loose and down and then press it and then press the tab here. And then there's another one with a yellow tab that's right here that goes on. Focus, and it goes right here. All right, so got the heater housing all back installed, bolted all back in there. Uh, now we got to fill it back up with coolant, and I got this. Still, I think I had this thing for like two years and never used it. It'd be my first time using it, so let's see how this works. Hopefully we got the right fit.
Alright, so from what I'm understanding is the bubbles is the air that comes out of it, I guess. Let's see if we got any so we install the heater cool from. See, it used to leak out of here pretty bad. But, no leak, so... Oh, that's working. I reused the hoses and... Tighten them up really good and they don't leak, so I'm not gonna get new hoses. So I think that's it. The battery's died, so that's the camera. But uh, I think that's about it for this one. Pretty sure it works. I'll come back and double check.